hello guys uh, uh, today uh, i want to discuss some topics uh, related with the random generation of a number so commonly I, uh, we know that by using the random we can uh, generate a, a random sequential number uh, but oh, i have a problem here uh, suppose uh, uh, if i loop this uh, random number um, i will get some duplicate uh, number because of uh, i creating the uh, instance every time of uh, looping the random number so generally uh, if I uh, pass the random number or uh, directly I call this random number by setting the maximum minimum I don't have a problem because I am creating the single instance if suppose I just want to loop uh, uh, this random number uh, uh, by using a for each or something uh, so that time I will get a duplicate uh, number suppose I have a requirement called uh, I just want to pass the random number into the array so every time I loop so it, it will create a, a new new instance so every instance uh, have a different whole number so random number it will come duplicate so how to avoid this one so today I just want to um, uh, show you uh, how to avoid this by using the singleton pattern with the singleton pattern uh, uh, we can avoid uh, this uh, it will create a single instance throughout uh, the entire uh, uh, loop so uh, we can avoid uh, uh, duplication over here so how to do that one I just um, take my uh, random number generation by declaring here private static uh, read only object random and just sorry, random equal to new random and I going to create one more object static read only object object lock okay uh, so now I have a uh, random object I just initialize and I just keep a read only and uh, I, I created one more object called object lock which uh, read only property now I going to remove here this one so here what I going to do I just uh, going to use a lock method if object is there Okay, I just uh, written my object. So now uh, it will uh, lock. Uh, so uh, uh, once my uh, instance already there, uh, it will return uh, the next value. So we don't have, uh, will not get get the duplicate number in every instance. So once uh, we loop uh, the, uh, once I, we, we initialize or we call the class, it will create a one object instance. So every loop uh, we locking if uh, if data. So so once that object is uh, there, it will uh, return the same instance. Next, so uh, we will uh, not get any duplicate. So this is the on pattern that uh, will make your object uh, to be a, a single instance throughout the application so finally in the same instance you will generate the number with a different or, or not a duplicate way so this is the one uh, way uh, to proceed and uh, avoid the duplicate so we can uh, execute this in a different fashion so while looping 
or if you want to uh, take this instance throughout the entire applications uh, so it, this will work actually so thanks for watching the video if you have any comments please uh, let us know uh, uh, please share uh, the feedback of uh, the tutorial uh, hope so guys enjoying the video